Please stop that and talk to me. Oh, sorry, darling, it was miles away. You were in a different universe. Please don't read it again. Open that thing. Abracadabra. This last paragraph here. Kevin Oliver is a relic of his time. The show consists of the same cheap past tricks that played his short lived Channel 4 show in the 90s. So it's baffling that a large streaming service would dig him out of obscurity for a special one off show. Nobody was missing him because nobody remembered him. The one hour special had no target audience. You can't pay any attention to that. He's obviously some sort of nutter. Nutter, before the show, you told me he was one of the ones we had to impress. Yeah, well, I've been known to make the odd mistake from time to time, on very rare occasions. Look, he didn't have anything nice to say about me either. Magic is dead, Crystal. How can we survive in a world where the audience could look up the secret of a trick on their damn phone? within seconds of it being performed. The appreciation of the illusion is not existent now. People just want instant gratification. Hey, hey, what's this? It's whiskey. in the morning. Yeah, well, which could be plenty of time to hit shit face today. No, no, we're not doing that. Not today. You're just like your mum, you know. I'm just going to drink it anyway when you leave, right? Well, when I leave, you're coming with me. No, I'm retired. Oh, shut up. You've already retired five times this year. It's only April. <laughs> Why did you book the party for today? Shouldn't I have? It's for Paul and Verity's kid. Paul and Verity's kid. So? They're extended family, right? We should come up with a trick to extend them even further. Do you remember what they did to us last year? Phyllis is just a kid with some extra energy. He's a year older now. I'm sure he's matured. His name's Phyllis? Yeah. Shit. I've been calling him Phallus. Oh, dear God. Paul and Verity never apologised to us last year. All offered to pay for the damage, their precious little treasure. It... Come on, there wasn't any damage. I mean, not really. And if I remember correctly, you were the one who was out of order. What do you mean? Didn't you want to put a laxative in Phyllis's Ribena? Yeah, in retaliation for him setting the stage on fire. The little shit deserved it. That's child abuse. And if I hadn't have stopped you from putting it in the jug, you would have made all the other kids ill too. Collateral damage. You make him sound like he's the spawn of Satan. I'm surprised you of all people are not upset after what Barry said at Christmas. Well, what did she say? Well, at Christmas she was talking to me and your mum and she called our act a glorified circus show. What, she called us circus freaks? I wouldn't say circus freaks, more like clowns. Circus clowns. Oh, and Paul said we were peasant magic. <laughs> peasant magic? I mean, who are they to talk? I mean, he inherited 
all of his money and all her business experiments have failed. I mean, we have been doing this successfully for years. You know Paul bought her a new two-seater convertible, a J? An F-type. I think so. Yeah. We're going to stop going on about how much it costs and whatnot. Is it in apple green? Yeah, how did you guess? I didn't guess. I told her that was my dream car. That unbelievable bitch. I mean, she really does think she's better than us, doesn't she? Rumbledore. I'm sure any poor Verity bookers could get some sort of twist of amusement out of it. Performed for us peasants. Oh, and I bet she's looking forward to seeing my face when I see that car. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know any of this. Otherwise I would have told her to shove the book in. Can I have a shot of my whiskey, please? No. You're driving us today. You just said they could shove it. If we don't do the party, then we'll be letting down Phyllis and ten kids. I mean, it's not their fault that the hosts are horrible people. I'm not going. So is that it then? The great Kevin Oliver is going to retire. You're really serious this time, aren't you? I regret my life. You what? Getting you involved in all this. You've spent years following me around. You when you could have spent that time building your own career. Your mum doesn't say it. I know she claims to be for you to be my assistant. Co-magician. I'm your co-magician. And if anything, mum isn't angry with you, it's with me for living a life of sin with Liam and Giving her a Labrador for a grandson. Yeah, well, she's pretty pissed off about it, actually. What has she said to you? It isn't the dog. She likes the dog. We all like the dog. The problem is, she thinks the dog's cleverer than Liam. That's a problem. Anyway, you're Kevin Oliver, the greatest magician in the UK. No, Europe. So what if some hater doesn't like your new show? We've got 3,000 new followers because of it. I don't understand any of that face face stuff. Trust me, that's very good. And it's another notch in your bout. West Ends, cruise ships, tours of the Middle East, royal weddings. Once I did one royal wedding. Prince Edward and Sophie. Doesn't matter. The entire country watched you on live TV. But that's the thing, isn't it? Because I had all those amazing experiences early on. I thought I'd be flying high forever. And look at me now. I'm a carpenter. And all weekends dress up to a wizard to impress groups of toddlers. And when I had that one golden opportunity for a comeback, I didn't grab the ball by the horns. My career's over. That's been for years. So I accepted it. You're not a carpenter, you're a, a manufacturer of quality illusions. I mean, you hold the patent in some of the best tricks in magic today. I mean, you're not going to give all that up too as well, are you? Well, I am considering my options. Good. And don't make any hasty decisions. Robert said that the streaming numbers were good and they want to do something with us next year. What is that? It's a midnight train going anywhere. You need to catch a train to Alcoholics Anonymous. What about all the music festivals? I mean, you're a legend on the circuit. You can't give them up. Look at all the famous people we've met. My Instagram's the envy of all my friends. I mean, even Sam Smith recognised you. That was Sam Smith? I thought it was Boy George. Anyway, them music festivals are the worst. They always book you last minute. And we always get the pitch by the toilets. All we do is 
perform to pond life. Oh, you're not still upset about Wayfield, are you? Those hippies wanting to sacrifice me. Let's burn the voodoo man and absorb all his energy. They were just drunk. Drunk? They're off their tits with LSD. LSD, you sold them. Well, I didn't know they were going to take you hostage, did I? Anyway, I've been clean for a year now. Why would you bring that up again? I'm oh, sorry I mentioned that. I'm proud of you. I'm all proud of you. You know you're my favourite uncle, right? I mean, some of the best experiences of my life have come from all the festivals and the shows that we've done together. You know, the people love us. Well, for the most part. You know, I remember the first time I saw you perform. It was my ninth birthday party. I had no friends at school. And I was everyone's bully victim. The other kids were only there because mum invited their parents. I tell you something. All those kids were in awe of you. I mean, when you cut mum in half and put her back together again, we all thought that we were in the presence of someone, well, magic. You know, after that party, I was the most popular kid at school. And I finally had friends, thanks to you. Whenever we do a kid's party now, I just like to think that if we make one lonely kid happy, then we've succeeded. Let's be honest. You don't really want to retire, Uncle Kevin. You're just pissed off about that review. You don't want to do the party today because of Paul Verity and Phallus. Phyllis! You're not really, really serious about retiring? I knew it. Wait here. And I'm taking this poison with me. Practice your routine for today or something. <laughs> Back in ten. Practice? Here, you'll like that. Maybe not a lot, but you'll like it. Like what you see? I haven't seen Red Top since the 90s. 
Where'd you get them? Hey, I've got my skills too. I'm a magician, you know. All you need to know is the police wasn't involved this time. What you're holding there is industrial strength, military grade, putricant. The mother of all stink bombs. These were the rage back in the time. Do you remember my mate, Scott from Bristol? The one that went crazy and tried to drown his assistant? No, uh, it's his wife. He used one of these on a heckler once. Kept running onto the stage, throwing things at him. He even spooked the rabbit to death. So he grabbed one and put it in his hair. He stank for weeks. His work wouldn't allow him to come in. Basically wrecked his life. So he took him to court and sued him. That's why they don't allow these to be sold anymore. Anyway, why have you got these? Well, I was going to use them on you. I thought it would be a laugh. I love you too. I mean, I knew they had a reputation, but I didn't think they were that bad. These are nuclear warfare. We're not James Bond villains. Was she going to use these on Phallus? Now that is child abuse. That wasn't my plan. But when we do the disappearing box today, and we take the birthday boy's father, Paul is going to vanish into the nether realm. And when he comes back, he's going to smell like Cthulhu himself took a shit on him. Actually, I have no objections. Good, well, let's get going then. We're already late. We have two vials. Yeah, two vials. I mean, what are we going to do? Make a third appear? For a car. What? Wouldn't it be a shame if Verity's car smelled like a goblin's arse up? Now, that would be tragic. No, darling. It just won't be tragic. It will be tragic magic. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I am Ken Paul. Some of you are going to be tricked, and some of you are going to leave the face for other sheets. Uncle Kevin! Uncle Kevin! Uncle Kevin!